welcome Allen High School Pre-AP students. We're talking about models of atomic theory. Uh, it's, you know, this last one, it's an okay model. I don't totally love it, um, but we're going to go ahead. I'm going to do two examples for you, and I think you'll get the idea. It really ties together a lot of what this, these next examples, a lot of what we've been talking about in these last two units on the atom. All right, so we're going to draw it just a, an energy, um, kind of an energy level diagram. All it's going to show is the number of electrons in a given energy level. The reason I don't like it is it gives this implication that electrons orbit and they don't. Electrons whip all over. We don't know how they're moving. Uh, so that's one of the reasons. The other reason is, is sometimes models don't show that convergence and that's kind of a little pettiness on my side. I really like to show that convergence. So that said, we're going to do a couple because I think it'll help. Now let's start with, um, we've got aluminum hyphen 27. So aluminum hyphen 27 means we are talking about AL and the 27 means we have a mass number of 27. It's element 13, so it says no charge, therefore we're talking about an atom. And that means there's nothing up in this upper right-hand corner because it's not charged. The number of protons is 13. Since it's not charged, it has 13 electrons. The number of neutrons is 27 minus 13, which is equal to 14. So that's some of the information we did. Now, to do this kind of energy level diagram, I like to do the electron configuration first. So the electron configuration for aluminum would be 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p1. So if we did the orbital diagram, it'd be two electrons in the 1s, and then two electrons in the 2s, and then 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Sorry, this Mimeo, it makes it really hard to draw neatly. 3s is 1, 2. 1, 2, 3, then there's 1 in the 3p. So that would be the orbital diagram. Here's what the energy level diagram does. And, and those of you who are um, planning on taking IB, this is uh, a key diagram that you want to know, and I'll show you how we summarize that. So this first ring represents n equals 1. So that's two electrons for the n equal 1. This next one is n equals 2. So for n equals 2, there's eight electrons. 1, 2, 3 four, five, six, seven, eight, right? Because 2s2, so we have 2s2 and we have 2p6 for a total of eight electrons in there. In the third energy level, we just have three. One, two, three. So that's how you would draw that valence electron. Now, uh, how IB likes you to draw that is a very simplified configuration. You have two electrons in n equals one. We have eight electrons in n equals two, and we have three electrons in n equals three. And so there are three valence electrons for this atom, all right? So that kind of hopefully ties together a bunch of things for you. So let's see our next example. We'll do one more of these and then we'll do hopefully do something fun in class like draw them or use discs or something. Let's answer these questions. Um, aluminum is a metal. It had three valence electrons. Metals are losers, so it's most likely to gain three elect or excuse me, lose, 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 lose three electrons to form the aluminum. Notice we put the number and then the sign three plus cation. So now we'd have 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. Remember we had 3s2 and 3p1? Well aluminum loses those electrons. So take those electrons out of the configuration. Now remember that cations are smaller than the original atom and that makes aluminum isoelectronic that means 
same electron configuration. Not sure I got that out earlier as well as I could have. Same electron configuration as neon. So I hope you can envision that you're going to have to be answering a lot of questions like this. All right, these are kind of now the summaries of what we want you to understand about these models and the elements. Okay, let's take a look at bromine. I'm just going to do one more because I think you'll have the idea uh, for this. So for bromine, uh, sorry, my tiny periodic table on my phone is not giving me this uh, bromine. There we go. Come on. It hits everything around bromine. 35. Okay, so this is bromine the isotope with a mass number of 71. Since it has no charge, we call it an atom. Okay, its atomic number is 35, so that gives it 35 protons and 35 electrons. All right, the number of neutrons is 71 minus 35 should have calculated this. I get a six and hmm. I'm only getting 26, I think. No, 36. There we go. Sorry, 36 neutrons. That makes more sense. Oh, Dina. Algebra, algebra. Okay, so the electron configuration would be 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6. 4s2, now we go down, remember, we go to the 3d, 10, and then up to 4p, and count over 5, okay? I'm going to, okay, I won't, I'll, I'll do it. So 1s2, and then that's the 2s, and then 1, 2, 3, that's the 2p, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then the 3s, 1, 2, I always run out of room. Then the 3p, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then the 4s, 1, 2, and I'm going to hop up here just to make sure it shows up on my screen. Okay, there's the 3d, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then one, two, three for my 4P. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that's a kind of a messy orbital diagram. Apologize for that. Okay, now let's put these electrons in here. So one, two in energy level one. In energy level two, we have eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Energy level three. Energy level three has two plus six plus ten. So it has eighteen. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Okay, so it has eighteen, and then we go out to energy level four, and it has two from the four S. And one, two, three, four, five from the 4P. Okay, so the streamlined, really not much information at all way of writing this would be we'd have two, and then we'd have eight, and then we had 18, and then we had seven. Okay, so that's how we would do the, all of these models with bromine. Let's take a look at some questions, and then we're going to be done with these this sections of the video. Answer the following questions regarding the bromine isotope. Now, bromine's a non-metal. Non-metals tend to be winners. If it gains one electron, you'll notice from your periodic table that it's going to be just like krypton. It has the same electron configuration as krypton. So we gain one electron to form the brome, and actually we call it, this is something new, we call it the bromide ion. It changes its name from bromine to bromide when it's negative, okay? So we'd have 1s2, 2s2, 
2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d10, 4p. Remember we had 4p5? Well, it's gained an electron. So now instead of 4p5, it's going to be 4p6. Okay. Now, remember anions are larger because there's more repulsion. All right. So, gives you some idea of some of the things that we're going to be doing in class. And I think that makes this video long enough. So until I see you in class, uh, this is, well, I could do one more, I think, video. This is signing off.